Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 27th of 2024 is titled Saturn at the Moon's Edge. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of two objects within our solar system appearing very close together, even though, of course, we know that they are quite far apart. The nearer object is, of course, our own moon. That is the Earth's large natural satellite and the closest astronomical object to Earth. Now, beyond that, we see the planet Saturn off in the distance. Saturn, the great ringed planet, and we can see the rings there stretching across. They're not in the perfect orientation right now as we're looking at it close to edge on, making them almost disappear. And that tells us a little bit about how thin those rings actually are. Now, how do we happen to get the two close together? Well, this is what we call a conjunction. A conjunction is when two astronomical objects are close together in the sky. How close? Well, that really just depends on the objects themselves. Sometimes they might be a couple of degrees apart. Now, to get a sense of that, our full moon is about half of a degree. So two objects within a degree of each other about one three hundred and sixtieth of the way around the sky would be two full moons apart. So here we can see they're much closer than that. And in some cases, we can have a conjunction when things are close together. But if you're in the right position on Earth, you could actually see an occultation. Now an occultation occurs when the nearer object actually passes in front of the more distant object and blocks it out for a time. Now this is something we think of sometimes with the sun and the moon as an eclipse when the moon will happen to pass in front of the sun and block it out. So that would be another type of occultation. Now it can also happen with the moon blocking out various planets or stars and planets can sometimes occult other stars too. So depending the moon has a much larger chance of this because it is has a larger apparent size on the sky and is much easier for it to be able to block out other objects. So here we see that this did occur and in fact just occurred just a couple of days ago on July the 24th when the when Saturn and the moon were very close together and from certain parts of the world especially over parts of Asia and Africa we were able to see that the moon would completely block out Saturn that Saturn would appear to pass behind the moon. Now, why are occultations important? Well, in some cases, they can help tell us about the objects. When a planet, for example, occults a star, we can watch how the starlight dims behind it. And that tells us a little bit about the planetary atmospheres. And that was one way to learn about those atmospheres before we had spacecraft that could travel out to study them more directly. So things like this have been looked at for long periods of time as ways of being able to study different astronomical events. But because of the changing orbits of the objects, they're relatively rare. So while things like uh, different conjunctions will occur rather often, an actual occultation where one object passes in front of another can be relatively rare. So that was our picture of the day for July 27th of 2024. It was titled Saturn at the Moon's Edge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sundance. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.